Right now with me is Tushaw Alvero Simon, and he is the newly appointed Tushaw for St. Colbert's Mission. And so, Mr. Simon, tell me a little about your community. All right, thank you very much. Uh, well, St. Colbert's Mission, I, I always believe that our village is the fastest, uh, the closest village actually to get to Georgetown. Yes. But that's only when Santa Mission, Yellow Water, when Santa Mission, Hell High Water, we're the second closest community. Uh, we have a huge population in St. Colbert, just over 2,000 people. And um, it's primarily uh, sand and it's up the Mahika River. So before, what we normally do is access the, the community to the Mahika River, but for the past few years with the road being improved yearly, uh, we now have easy access through the Linden Highway yeah. together, just about 12 miles off the Linden Highway. So it's about maybe roughly four or five minutes to get yes. to single Worth right now. Yes, and so speaking about development, uh, we know that each and every Amerindian villages, well, most of them would have been able to benefit from the LCDS funds, right? Tell me, what are some of the things that your community would have uh, benefited or more so been able to accomplish with this the carbon funds? All right, well, um, this is the second year that we have benefited from the carbon fund. Um, last year we got $35 million. This year we got, as the president announced, we got another $35 million, um, $35 million of Guyana dollars. Uh, with that money being spent, there's still some more left over from the last one. Yes. But what we want to do, seeing that I'm newly elected, is we want to start taking the direction in which we invest the money in a different direction prior to the person who was there before. So what we're hoping for is to create some invest, put some money in some investments yes. where we can start seeing returns for those investments being made rather than just spending money and not seeing returns for them. So we wanted to start focusing on like tourism. Um, we want to start putting money aside to fund education. Uh, to improve basic health services and I think that this is a great opportunity for us to um, start off I think on a, the right foot to a, a better life uh, under, the, under this great initiative that the government president is allowing us the my communities to be a part of. Yeah and as we continue speaking about development um, there would actually be a million dollar uh, grant that actually would be distributed to the villages for sports development. What do you envision to do with this grant? Oh, well, um, currently the, the village has two play fields. Uh, we have one primarily dedicated to football and we have one uh, more so for cricket. Uh, right now, we're in, we, for some reason, for the first time actually, was made aware of this, of this, this, this billion dollars. But what we intend to do is do some really um, some upgrades on both fields uh, in terms of adding floodlights. There should, there should be more pavilions. Uh, we're looking to put boundary lines. And I mean, trust me, the, the million dollars is going to do so much great things to the village right now because of the state that we're heading into. We invest heavily in sports for the past couple of years. Um, so now I think this money, I mean, I really do hope coming yearly. Um, I'm very confident that we're going to see major upgrades, so not just one, but both fields within the community. Yes. And so at this time, I just want to take this opportunity to more so congratulate you for, you know, being re now actually the newly elected to show for St. Colbert's mission, and I wish you all the best for the year of serving, the years of serving. Oh yeah, thank you very much. I mean, yeah. we got three years, we got three years um, to, to bring development, and we hope that and I'm very confident, for matter of fact, that um, we know we bring a new sense of vision to the community. I want to make sure that the kind of energy that comes with with me being, I mean, as young as I am, I don't consider myself very old. Yeah. But, so and I know for sure that we're going to get great things done for St. Colbert and the yes. residents, and all to benefit um, in, in for the next few years. Yeah, so there you heard it from Toshaw Simon from the St. Colbert's Mission, sorry. Uh, so I encourage you to stay tuned right here on NCN for more updates. Thank you.